Whew. Team keep it clean. We had a bit of a scare today uh, with the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson because he missed the very first practice that he's missed all year. I didn't even realize that. But it does make sense because Lamar Jackson has continued to always be there. Uh, and then with, with, with national reporters, them picking it up and them like all reporting, my, my notifications going crazy. I know y'all notifications were going crazy. Oh, Lamar Jackson missed practice. Lamar Jackson wasn't at practice. Lamar Jackson wasn't out there doing a media session of practice. So I was like, oh, hold up now. But then when you really thought about it, even before it was confirmed that he had an illness, you, you thought about it and was like, hold up. It's December. This is usually the time of the year where Lamar Jackson has his annual illness. Now, before we get into this, take care of clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single update. And also, leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. Like, seriously, it really does. So, I, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Now, with Lamar Jackson, uh, his annual illness. I know this is where a lot of people turn into doctors, turn into medical experts. And I can see why, because us as Ravens fans, we feel like with all the injuries that we've seen, especially over the past couple of years, we feel like we are medical experts. But here's where people get to talking about the immune system. And when it comes to Lamar Jackson and his annual sickness, people say, oh, Lamar, what's he doing getting sick? What's he doing not getting, not feeling so well? What's he doing getting under the weather? He's not allowed to do that. He's not allowed to be a human. I never get sick. I never under the weather. I never feel bad. Oh, you don't, do you? But anyway, uh, we just got so used to hearing that over the years. But Lamar Jackson, he should be good. Hopefully, it ends up being one of those cases where it was with Rashad Bateman. Because Rashad Bateman, he missed practice yesterday, but he came back today and Rashad Bateman was A-OK. -okay. So that was nice to see Rashad Bateman back out there. Always good when people come back. And I'm like, man, really, Ravens? Like, we getting and reporting on all this great news this morning. So many people returning to practice, coming back. John Harbaugh even talked about how somebody with Ardarius Washington, he may come back. He still could possibly, he said he's not counting on it, but he could possibly possibly maybe come back so I'm like Ravens really getting some reinforcements let's go and then this happened and I, I know a lot of Ravens fans were scared and I get it I, I completely understand why a lot of Ravens fans were freaking out because I got a bunch of DMs and stuff like hey what's, go what's going on with Lamar Jackson what's happening with Lamar Jackson and I'm like I, I ain't his trainer <laughs> I ain't up there but no nah, it's all good and, and with it being a sickness it's all good but one of the biggest reasons too why I can understand why a lot of Ravens fans were freaking out is because for the past two years around this time of the year uh, our seasons have been they falling apart due to Lamar being hurt so I know a lot of Ravens fans when they saw Lamar Jackson wasn't out there again before it was confirmed that was an illness I know that crept up in a lot of their minds because if we go back two years ago, like it was in the Browns game. Yeah, I think the Browns game was like late November, maybe early December, but I think it was late November. Browns game where he got hit, jock sort of twisted his ankle a bit. Boom, Lamar was done for the year. And then last year in the Broncos game, I think that was early December, where Lamar took, he got sacked in the pocket and then boom, PCL done for the year and that was a wrap so i know ravens fans were just reliving those moments a lot of ravens fans not all but a lot of them were reliving those moments in their head and they were like oh no please say it ain't so it's not so so we ain't even got to worry about that now uh, with lamar jackson and his uh i guess he's going to be having his annual flu game i know we got accustomed to lamar jackson having that over the years but i remember there was one year where lamar jackson they said he had got so sick that he, he couldn't even play through it because uh, leading all up into the game, and I, it was the Bears game a couple years ago. It was the Bears game. Leading all up into the game, Lamar was straight. He was fine. He was practicing and all that, getting ready. And then I think it was the morning of. It was on Sunday. They said Sunday morning, they were like, oh, Lamar Jackson, he is too sick to play. He ain't going to be good to go, so Tyler Huntley is up. Uh, and Tyler Huntley in super short notice – um, in a game that he was not expected to start, he did not prepare like a starter because he was not the starter. Uh, he came in and played in the Baltimore Ravens. They won that game. So shout out to Tyler Huntley. Uh, in that case, he stayed ready so he ain't have to get ready, even though he had to get ready. Uh, but he got the job done. But I, I do not anticipate this week being one of those uh, games where Lamar just Jackson can't suit up. I'm sure this thing will come and it will go uh, and it'll be straight. I know my homie Chels, she said that she, it sounded like Lamar Jackson was a little bit stuffy yesterday. Um, so 
she wasn't surprised that he was out uh, with sickness today. So, again, it's just one of those things. You know how when you feel like a cold coming, when you feel something coming, and you start getting all the symptoms and whatnot, but you're fighting it. And then on that, sec that second day, oh, that, that's when it's the worst. Where you feel it the first day of it, but then that second day where it really hits you, it's like, oh, man. Uh, and then the third day, it can still be there and whatnot, but then the fourth day, you start recovering, you start feeling better and whatnot. Uh, now, today is Thursday, so today will be the second day. And then, so, I, again, I expect him to be back out there Friday and whatnot. Then, if they, what, what they do, the, the walkthrough on Saturday. Well, they do the walkthrough on Friday, actually. Um, but, yeah, he, he, I, I ain't worried about Lamar Jackson potentially or possibly missing this game at all. And I don't think you should either. Now, something that I have seen some Ravens fans worried about uh, is the weather. Uh, for this game uh, this Sunday against the Rams at m &T Bank Stadium. Because when you look at the weather in Baltimore on Sunday, it's supposed to be not only cold, but right now saying it's an 85% chance of rain. So that is definitely on the higher side. Uh, so this could be a wet one. Uh, so we'll see. So a lot of times the weather can change. Uh, I mean, these, these weather prediction things, they, they just go all based off of patterns. Um, they don't know what's happening. They don't know what's on the way. Sometimes they get it right, but sometimes they get it wrong, too. So we'll just see what happens on Sunday. Shout out to any of y'all that are actually going to the game. Uh, if it does end up being uh, a nasty one out there, I, I really got to give a special shout out to fans that attend those games because y'all are the real deal. Because um, that, that takes a different type of fan to attend the game in not so comfortable situations and not so comfortable weather. That's real right there. So we, we, we'll see what happens when it comes to the weather. Now, Jeff Zrebic. We know Jeff Zrebic. He is the best Ravens reporter doing it. And it ain't no disrespect to any other, other Ravens reporters that are doing it. We got love for all of them. They all do a phenomenal job. But Jeff Zrebic has just continued to be on another level with it. Um, and his consistency, his professionalism, everything. Jeff Zrebic has been on it. But one thing, see, I, I just got a DM from somebody. He said, what are the chances Lamar Jackson doesn't play uh, this weekend? See, it, again, the, the, the worry is there for a lot of fans. The, wor the worry is still, even though people know it's just a sickness, the worry is still there. And, and, and again, I get it. I, I, like, I literally got a DM just now. But anyway. Um, Jeff Zrebic, he's been doing his thing for a long time covering these Baltimore Ravens, and we appreciate him like crazy. Uh, but Jeff, like this year, don't don't mess with Jeff Zrebic, man. Y'all y'all gonna learn to stop messing with people that don't mess with nobody. Stop doing that. Leave people alone. Jeff Zrebic, he had reported Lamar Jackson missing practice. He said Lamar Jackson was not on practice field for Ravens. The rest of the roster was. So that was he put the bad in the front and the good in the back. Cool. He let us know Lamar was gone, but everybody else was there. So somebody replied to that. He said, I swear, man, he better not be sick. Obviously talking about Lamar Jackson. Jeff Rebick's re reply was, or oh, what? Or oh, what? I said, oh, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, don't hurt him too much, Jeff. Because Jeff, Jeff ain't with it. But, well, Jeff actually is with it. He, he tired of it, man. Jeff been coming at people all year long man you talk to jeff sideways normally jeff would be like he won't even reply he won't even respond this year jeff like oh no uh-uh i i'm tired of all this foolishness i'm tired of people talking to me any type of way i'm gonna I'm handle this so special shout out to jeff Zrebic. well special shout out to y'all team keep it clean i appreciate y'all so much again make sure you subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single thing or a single video and also continue to leave a like on the video because it goes such <laughs> such a long way like seriously it, it really does it helps out so much with youtube and the channel and just really everything i love y'all i hope you all having a phenomenal day uh, i will see you all tomorrow and on that note we are out